Hi, this is a non-disclaimer of sorts with the remaining videos of Scott and myself uh, blithering on and my son having had several bottles of beer. We talk about various subject matter and we are not prejudiced and we are not hateful towards this guy or that guy or this thing or that thing. Some of the subject matter is basically what a lot of people perceive. And the one where we do accents, everyone in this country, when they try to do an accent, some people are good, some people are not good. Yeah, no offense, please. We mean, we mean no offense. You want me to talk about what now? I was going to mention, and I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, Christ almighty. I'm sorry to Americans that are assholes. And I'm I'm gonna say that word. Sorry. Wow. Right. PG channel. Kids, stay up late. Here you go. But Americans tend to be very rude, uh, and, and other countries even mention that. They they do. Um, for those watching at home, because where else would you be watching from? For those watching from the subway, this one's for you. Those one. Um, my international experience has been mostly a little bit of Europe and Canada, right? And. They say a lot of the same things about, oh, we can do stereotypes. Let's do stereotypes. I like stereotypes. Okay. Stereotypes have a grain of truth in them. That's where they come from, right? And there's some really bad ones. And there's some pretty... Asians are very studious, and that's true. I worked at a Korean church, and the, the kids were very studious and very knowledgeable, and they did their homework. Good on you. The word for today is racism. No, okay. So, it's um... Not, it, yeah, we're moving forward, steamrolling forward in the way that we white people do. Oh, uh, no. Okay, um, so basically, I got a lot of stereotypes, and a lot of things about Americans is, as I'm sure I'm a living, breathing example of this, we're very loud. loud. Very loud. Very loud. Why? I don't know why. Maybe our radios are too high. Uh, maybe we just like to type in all caps. <laughs> and that's how we live our life. I, I know, I hate those people too. The bigger the better, the more crap the better. That oh. seems to be the American We're thing. very loud. There's a lot of us where like you're around family dinner and when your crazy old grandma is spouting off some racist shit about, you know, like, we should have kept the colonies or whatever it is, you know, and you're kind of like, Jesus, God, grandma. In America, how you get your vinyan a vinyan a poist, how you get your opinion voiced Number seven, apparently. Um, how you get your opinion voice is to be louder than the guy next to you. No, Italians do that too. Okay, the Italians do it, but they're more fanciful because they have a, 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 a it, somatic a component to it. There, there's more of a dance. There's the hands. There's the why. And there's also a deep emotional connection to your mother. The, For I some reason, care. I don't understand. Yeah, I don't care. I don't That's care. That's not the bad one. The bad one's in a different direction. No, I thought this was... I don't care. Fuck my... Oh, oh that one. Uh -uh. Anyway, so, um, yeah, no, we're loud. Can you tell? We're very loud. I don't know why. It's just the way we are. always been loud. Always, man. his hearing tested. 12 years old, she takes me to get my hearing tested because she's like, Oh, he must be deaf. That's why he's so loud. Mm -mm. Ace that thing. 100%, man. And turns out I'm just loud. My inside voice is six and a half feet tall. I had a German teacher like that. He was just loud. Sieg Heil! No, like no, 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 no. Oh, my bad. I don't know he German. Would, he, would, he would tell dirty jokes in German to see who <laughs> understood the joke would laugh, and they, they would get A's. So, so I, if, you were, I, if you were good at cheating, you'd wait till someone was starting to laugh, and then you start laughing. But I understood the joke. And he was dirty. German teacher at the front. So I'm banging my wife. One kid throws up. That kid gets an A. Like, uh, <laughs> anyway, um, the other one is we're very obnoxious. We are. I, I don't know what to say about it. We're... A lot of people are very... We are, we are rude compared to a lot of other nations. And when I say compared to a lot of other nations, I mean nations that have uh, manners. Uh, but if you grew up in a nation without manners, how can you be rude? I'll tell you one thing about Americans. What's that? Is... Especially like where we're living here in St. Louis, Yo. the middle of the country, or south, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of churches, yeah. a lot of people shoving their their. We're religion. on the west end of the Bible Belt. We actually have a section of the country called the Bible Belt because people are so into Jesus, they're literally. 
they belt out whatever. Oh, I can't say that. No, you cannot say whatever you're thinking. But basically, basically, people shove their religion down your throat. Oh yeah, oh for sure. It's everywhere. I got 13 churches within a mile of me. Like you think I'm kidding? Freaking Google Maps this, man. I'm I, hand to God. <laughs> Ironically, and uh, no, there's a lot of churches. That being said, though, some of our more positive aspects, um, we're very friendly. A lot of people have told us, uh, yes, that well, just as people they come to America, they're not sure what to expect. We if will, you, we'll be in line for the grocery store. We'll strike up a conversation oh, yeah. with the next guy. Where in other countries they don't do that. Well, some do. I'm doing Canada a bit, but it's the sort of thing where, like, if you're or something, if you're like, lost or whatnot, or like you're curious about this monument or something, you ask the guy next to you. He'll tell you. You don't. Need, he'll tell you stuff you don't even want to know. You know, he'll tell you about his breakfast and like his wife and why he loves his kid but hates his second kid and man, it's a damn shame that factory closed. And the fourth closed. time like, they visited this place, little Johnny threw up on the the foot of the statue. You know that kind of stuff. Secret drinking thing. So if you're a bit of a a, a lush or well a drunkard, right? And you go to a bar or something, affect your accent very heavily. Make it known that you are foreign, and at that point go, I don't know, what is this foreign concept called beer or vodka or whatever is your poison? What? She doesn't know. She doesn't go to bars. Me? A little bit, hey? You mean in this country? Oh yeah. Affect your accent super strong? Well, you unless... Mean, like if you're French? Yeah. You say, I don't know what is there to do. I, I do not understand. I, I would like a drink. Sort of thing. Affect it very strongly you're going to get two responses. First of all, the women around you are going to be wet as hell. It's like a slip and slide, man. It's unreal. Uh, and second of all, people are going to be buying you drinks all night. Americans love accents. We are that... I mean, to be fair, as a country, we are large enough. This is not France. This is not Germany. Love you both very much, you know. Um, but we are so large as a country that our West Coast has no idea what our East Coast is doing. Our South has no concept of what the North is like. What makes us great as a country is that you can travel to any one of 50 states and you will encounter one of 50, if not more, different cultures. And accents. Yeah, it's fantastic. That's why we're a melting pot. Does a lot of hate and prejudice and racism and sexism come out of that? Unfortunately, One yes. One thing about... That's a price we pay, when, but... When Europeans come to this country... Oh, you poor bastards. Oh, oh, I want to see New York and San Francisco and Dallas, Texas. New York's and pretty they, cool. And they're in for three days. And they think... Oh, you, no. And they think you can just get in the car and drive because in their own country, which is a lot smaller than this one... Yeah, it takes three or four hours and they can get to another country. New York's cool if you like cityscapes. LA's a crap hole. Wait a uh, minute. LA's what? just... There are a lot of disillusioned people out there. The people from like Nebraska crap and Iowa that hole. go out there wanting to be movie stars and... Look, man, we all want to be actors to some degree or another. There's a reason why your top ten... Like, there's a reason why if you sat down and really thought about it, you can only name, what, 50? Hollywood actors? A hundred? Maybe? Well, it depends how old you are. All the ones I know are dying off. Zero Mostel. Gene hey. White. I like Zero Mostel. I'm a very big fan of the producers. The original. Don't get me wrong. Nothing against uh, Matthew, Matthew Broderick, Broderick or and Nathan Lane. Nathan Lane. Nathan, Nathan Lane is fabulous. Guys. He's fantastic. I Matthew. love those guys. Absolutely, right? But at the end of the day, there's a reason 10 million people moved to L.A. to be an actor, and you know the names of 50 of them. Do the math. Make it logistical, Well, eh? you can learn their names on their name tag when their waitress comes by. And oh, Christ almighty. I'm only kidding. A little bit. I've been a waitress. I I, we've all been. And if you haven't been, you need to get a food service job for six months. To so, appreciate. So that way you crap. understand how crappy it is to be in the service industry. And why no. I don't like stainless steel appliances, which seem to be popular now. I don't want to feel like I'm working in a restaurant. Ah, modern art can suck it. But... At the end of the day, America's not a bad country. Do keep in mind, um, the citizens do not represent the government. I know it sounds kind of oh. weird considering how, you know, democratic we are, but, um, you'll hear all kinds of crap on the news. At the end of the day, the average American will run to help whoever's in trouble. The average American will do their best to donate a jacket if we got a jacket to give. Or food. Uh, we do try, hey, and we're very well-intentioned. Um, oh, I'll tell you what. Oh, we can make a whole other video we'll on this one. We'll make another one. We'll make another one. The next video we're going to talk about is an American living in Canada 
and the difference between Canadians and Americans because despite what Americans think Canada is not just a hat and an extension of American territory. I will bring up Target's a uh, foolish expansion into Canada to talk more about that and their 1.7 billion dollar loss at their stupidity and lack of research into how Canadian economics works. You mean our country? I mean the US? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. And then I'll talk about Canadians here in America and how that tends to play out. So until then, Sexy enjoy. Prime Minister Trudeau. You know, I'm straight. I got a wife. Hell man, he's in my top five. I don't know what you're talking about. Look at the pictures online of how Ivanka Trump looks at Trudeau. Just saying, everyone's a little thirsty for him. Uh, but that's oh, we it. better end this one. Yeah, we're, we're done, man. We're, we're done. It's over. I'm going to get me a beer. I need another one, hey? All, All right. right. You guys have a good one. <laughs>